Zen Karn. Hey guys, it's Sankan again here, bringing you another episode of Redstone to Redstoneless. The show where we take redstone circuits and we transform them into redstoneless circuits. Now just a quickie update on the uh, last one, which was the T-flip-flop. I managed to make another design which doesn't sort of oscillate between the two or the th two states. So in this one, the pr only problem that I had with it was, let me just press the button, that it went off, on, off, and on, off, on. And I didn't really like that toggle. Anyway, so I made another one here, and um, uh, you can decide for yourself if, if it's a better design. Right, so in this episode, we're going to be looking at the AND gate. Now, the AND gate is actually rather simple. We turn one lever on, we turn the second lever on, and then the output is on. But let's look a bit further into actually how this is composed. So here we have the composition of the AND gate. You can see, first we knot both inputs, and then we make an OR gate in between the inputs. And then we take this ORD output and we put it into a further NOT gate. So in depth, how does this work? Well, when you turn one lever on, then the other lever is still off and therefore the OR gate is still on. So the output is always off. So no matter whether one or the other is on, but the other one is off, then the output will still be off. But the thing is, when both outputs turn off, there is nothing keeping the OR gate turned on, and therefore the output turns on. Or the output is knotted and then the lamp turned on. So let's have a look at how I did this redstonelessly. So we have our two inputs here. Let me just destroy this redstone and I can just press one of these buttons. And then the minecart runs out of this tripwire here, runs out to here and then back again. Now, if you'll remember, with the knock gate, we have to keep this turned on, and then OR gate it. Okay, we have to keep the inputs on, and see, we could actually completely remove these parts, and we could, in fact, make an AND gate, kind of like this, kind of like an OR gate, but we just keep the inputs on. So we've got the inputs on here, but only when we turn both of them off will the output come on. See that? So the OR gate is kind of an AND gate, but when you turn both the outputs off, the output turns off. That's originally how they came up with the AND gate. So back over here, we have this minecart here, and there's a tripwire inside that minecart, so let's just trigger the button. You can see the tripwire just there. And it's being kept on by this minecart, that minecart, and that minecart. When we trigger just one of the minecarts, it'll roll back and forth. But, it won't actually do anything because the other minecart is still triggering this tripwire. So we trip trigger this one, but now this minecart didn't move, so it was still triggering the tripwire. So what happens when we trigger both inputs at the same time? Well, you'll see that this minecart went as well, and this means that this tripwire actually has nothing triggering it anymore. See? For a brief period of time, it had nothing triggering it, and therefore this torch here will turn on and then off. I detect this redstone-lessly red, redstone with this door here. 
This door, unlike these doors, is actually being constantly powered by this tripwire, but it's still got the same orientation. I did this because this is more of the sort of the output that we want. We want this minecart to go when these turn off, whereas these want to go, these two doors here, want to go when the output is on, turned on, or the input is turned on from these buttons over here. And then this will make this minecart here roll out and then we can get a further output further down the line by pressure plates or whatever. So you'll notice I use two types of doors here. I used the not doors, uh, which are the, these ones here, and I used the doors that are here. Um, and that's part of the trick of redstoneless circuitry. So guys, I hope you've learned something today. Um, just note that I still haven't abandoned vanilla. I am still playing in vanilla. Although I am playing a lot of mods, I am also playing in vanilla. I'm also starting FDB. Uh, it's much like Tekkit, so it's actually um, not that hard to swap over. But yeah, it's going really fun. And I might, I might release some inventions uh, from FDB soon, but we'll see about that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.